Camo Brathwaite's poem for Walter Rodney was first published in Index and Censorship in June 1981. A year earlier, on the 13th of June 1980, Walter Rodney was assassinated by a bomb placed in his brother's car in Georgetown, Guyana. Camo's poem is in th three parts. Poem for Walter Rodney. To be blown into fragments, your flesh like the islands that you loved, like the sea wall that you wish to heal, bringing equal rights and justice to the brothers, a fearless Kumfa Mashramani to the sisters whispering their freeze on, that Grandi Nani's histories be listened to with all their ancient fletches of respect, until they are the steps up the poor of the church, up from the floor of the hill slide, until they become the roar of the nation, that fathers would at last settle into what they own, axe, adze, if not oil, well, torch light of Mackenzie, that those who have all these generations bitten us bare to the bone, gnawing our knuckles to the dead, price fix, price rise, rack man and ratchet squeeze, how bread is hard to buy, how rice is scarcer than the muddy water where it rides, how bunny baby bellies grow doom-laden, dungeon grounded down to groaning in their hunger. Grow, wailer voiced and red-eyed in their anger, that knocks against his xylophones of prison ribs and bars, that how we cannot take our wives or sweethearts or our children or our children's children on a trip to Kenya, watch Maasai signal from their saffron shadow, the water buck and giraffe wheel round wrecked manyata, while little blunder kinta who don't even care a fart for whom this is the one more yard of flim, for whom this is the one more start to Colon, to Cortez, to Cecil Rhodes, to whom this is the one more road to the sachi headed waiter, a ban died out of his ship by his boss at the Nairobi Airport Hotel. Let's his face sulk into ice soup. Let's his hair shirt rattle, I sweat, cause I am wearing the tam of I dream in I head. That these and those who fly still dreader up the sky, vultures and hawks, I scarpering Morgan, the Miami mogul, those night beasts of Babylon who heist us on sus. But that worst, it is the blink in I and I own eye, the sun blotted out by paper, a cane, fires, vampires, a ink, wheels, empires, a status quos, status quos, statue crows that tell of blood tolling in the ghetto. Till these small misdemeanors, as you call them, be come a monstrous fetter on the land that will not let us breed until every chapsy in the face of good morning become one more coil, one more spring, one more no thing to sing about, become the boulder rising in the bleed, the shoulder nourishing the gun, the headline screaming of the scrawl across the wall of Surbiton of Sheraton Hotel, the poor can tech no more. And the babies and their mothers and their mothers and their mothers' mothers and their mothers' 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 mothers, mothers, mothers perished forever in the semi-automatic catcalls of the orange heat, sizzle, fair, flare up of siren howl of the scorch wind wail through the ratatat of the hool through the tap of your head damp stench creole 
the well of the flame drilling, I ease through your flesh. Drat, ta ta drat, ta ta drat, ta 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 Reduce to the time before green bone. Reduce to the time before ash skull. Reduce to the time before love was born. In your arms, before dawn was torn from your pillow. In your arms, before the tumours were crumpled into paper bags inside the Stabrook market, in your arms, before the knife ran through the dark and the locket steel was there between the spine and the kidney, in your arms, in your arms, I prophesy, before you recognised the gorgon head inside the red eye of the walkie-talkie. To be blown into fragments, your death, like the islands that you loved, like the seawall that you wished to heal, bringing equal rights and justice to the brothers, that children, above all others, would be like the sunrise over the Rupununi, over the hazy morn, over Kilimanjaro, anywhere or world where there is love, there is the sky and it's blue free, where past means present struggle towards Vlissingen's, where it may someday end. Distant like Pui and the Essequibo, drifting like miracles or dream, or like that lonely fishing engine slowly losing us its sound, but real like your wrist with its tick of blood over its manacles of bone, but real like the long marches, the court steps of trial, the sudden night journeys holed up in a different safe house every morning and trying to guess from the heat of the hand, shake if stranger was stranger or cobra or friend and the urgent steel of the kiskidi glittering its down the sharpest bend in the breeze and the leaves ticking and learning to live with the smell of rum and the skull's breath his cigarette ash and the smudge of your fingers his footsteps in your houses and having to say it over and over and over again with your soft ringing patience with your black lash of wit though the edges must have been curling with pain but the certainty clearer and clearer and clearer again, that it must be too simple to hit, too hurt not to remember, that it must not become an easy slogan or target, too torn, too defaced, too devalued, down in redemption market, that when men gather, govern other manner, they should be honest in a world of hornets, that bleed into their heads like lice, Corruption that cockroaches like a dirty kitchen sink. Yet politics should be like understanding of the floorboards of your house. Swept clean each morning, built by hands that know the wind and tide and language. From the loops within the ridges of your footprints to the rusty tinin fences of your yard. So that each man on his cramped restless island on his back dam of land and forest clearing by the broken river where burbies struggles against slushy ground takes up his bed and walks in the power and the reggae of his solstice from the crippled bramble pathways of his vision to the certain limpen knowledge of his nam this is the message that the Dredden will deliver, grounded with drift of mustard seed. That when he spoke, the word was fluter on his breeze, since it was natural to him, like the way he listened, like the way he walked, one of those idle brothers who had grace, for being all these things and careful of it too, and careless of it too. He was cut down, Plantation came because he dared to grow, and growing green, because he was that slender reed. And there were 
machetes sharp enough to hasten it and bleed. He was blown down because his bridge from man to men meant doom to prisons of a world we never made, meant racking out the weeds that kill our yampe vine, and so the bomb, fragmenting islands like the land. You loved letting back darkness in. But there are stars that burn, that murders do not know, soft diamonds behind the blown to bits that trackers could not find, that bombers could not see, that scavengers will never bribe away. The Caribbean bleeds near Georgetown prison. A widow rushes out and hauls her children free. <laughs>